all right guys welcome back to the channel i'm going to start this video on some really really sad news um and it's the fact that um a young lad called jamie uh tra tragically lost his life about a week or two ago and you know he was only 29 years of age he was a dad from what i've been told he was a really kind-hearted person and no one deserves to lose the life in the manner what he did you know it's absolutely disgusting what's happened but you know all i can do is give my condolences to him his family everyone who knows him i can't imagine what you're all going through and I, I would invite you all to join everyone in the stadium and give him a round of applause on the on the 29th minute to celebrate his life um you know super barbers got involved and urged everyone to do the same um and i'm going to leave a link to a, a gofundme page um just to help um you know i can't there's nothing i can say or do what will help really because it's not gonna fix what's happened but all i can do is just apologize and like give my con condolences it's just really sad in it and you know, no one deserves to lose the life at that age, like I've said. But if I know times are hard at the minute and, you know, money's tight for everyone. But if you do have anything, what you can, anything, like literally, um, if you can spare anything, you know, his family will more than appreciate it. But I'll dedicate this video to Jamie and hopefully we, we do get the win for him today. But you can't put into words what's happened and I am really sorry. And if the family need anything from me or, you know, I'm more than happy to help as much as I can. Um, but guys, yeah, really, really sad. But let's get the win for him. Come on, Albion. So, guys, on to the game today. Um, score predictions today. Um, obviously, we're playing a tough team in Sheffield United. They've got some really good players. I'm really looking forward to the new manager's first game as well. If you could... All subscribe to the channel, try and smash 100 likes on this video. Um, you know what, I'm actually quite confident for today's game. And I know that Sheffield United normally bring a decent crowd and they've got decent fans. So I think it would be a very good atmosphere. Um, I'm going to go with a 2-0 West Brom win. I don't know why, but I always predict these wins and we always end up losing. But hopefully we don't, you know, based on everything what I said in the last clip and... For the fact that we actually need to start getting points on the board. So I'm going to go 2-0 West Brom. I'm going to say um, Brandon Thomas Asante. And I'm going to say... Someone from a corner, I'm not sure. But 2-0 West Brom. Liam, score predictions? Um, I'm pleased about the new manager. But I still don't have much hope in many of these players. So um, I think he'll get it right. That's why I think it's good we're having a World Cup break so we can have an identify. Um, two, two. Two, two. Goal scorers. Um, Asante and Wallace. Right, guys, we're going to head to the ground now. Come on out, guys. Joined by All Things Midlands. Brilliant videos. Go and check them out. Brilliant videos. Um, score predictions for today? I'm, I'm going for one all, and, and just to just to just to show that I haven't slept very well. I reckon Carl and Grant's going to get one today. Well. Really? Uh, what you been drinking? Uh, I'll tell you if we win. I'll tell you if we win. Go on. What's your? I'm not going. You know, positivity about Carl's Cobran era. I'm not going for two one win. Fancy it. Yeah, we've just had an argument down there. See if you know. I'm not trying to catch you out. Carlos Corbran played the game, didn't he? Do you know what position? No. <laughs> Goalkeeper? And he reckons he, I'm telling lies, but... I don't believe that. Tom, I'm just hoping now, you know, the biggest thing that's going to be against us is time. I just hope that if it doesn't pan out in, in about four or five matches, let's not boo him because we, yeah. we, we can't keep on getting rid of him. It's a longer matches. process as well. And, exactly. you know, not only the manager's the problem, the players and the ownership as yeah, well. I totally agree. The model from top to bottom is just not working. What do you think about that loan thing? What's come out? I'm disgusted in it. Yeah, to be that's honest, true. Though. It's really bad. Got to be careful what I say. I don't want to stir up too many things. But how can a so-called billionaire ask for a 25 million pound loan? Yeah, exactly. I know, it's shrouded in mystery for me. And there's also I've, I've heard a comment that they want to sell the ground to raise money. Yeah, I saw that as well. Jersey business, but con for today. I'm going to put all my negativity aside, and I've been looking forward to this. 
Come on, you baggies, and make sure. And what, what, what was your channel again, my mate? West Brom Fan TV. West Brom. How, how can I not I miss that? that Keep up the good work, and listen. Pretty soon, you're going to be a father. That's more <laughs> important than all the nonsense. Oh yeah, there. definitely, uh, guys. Check out the link in the description. Like I say, absolutely brilliant videos. Uh, cheers for coming on, guys. You're right, guys, welcome. joined by Jonathan, aka Crazy Shadow Talks Football. Jonathan, <laughs> new manager. New manager bounce, yeah. Hopefully a win. Hopefully. Yeah. Score prediction. Um, well, based based on um, Sheffield United, they haven't had a very good October. You know, they've drawn three, lost three, one of those to Coventry. Um, so they've dropped just as many points as we have. It's just the rest of the season that's the difference between the two teams. So I'm hoping for a 3-2 win to us. Um, I reckon the two Ollies, McBurney and Norwood, will score for them. And I'm hoping like TGH, Thomas Asante and Dean Garner for us. What do you make of his first starting lineup, Jonathan? Well, it's... Um... It's still, in my opinion, the same formation. It's still a lone striker up front. Dean Garner and Wallace, you know, on the wings. Um, he's starting Grant instead of Thomas Asante. Um, but overall, you know, it's, uh, it's just the same formation at the moment. Hopefully the players, because I understand he's been working on their fitness um, this week. So obviously being a former fitness coach, um, he should know these things. But yeah, I, I believe... Uh, you know, it should be a 3-2 win to us. Hopefully. If, if the squad lasts the 90 minutes, because we've been conceding a lot of late goals lately. So, so guys, my voice went then. Uh, <laughs> cheers for coming on, Jonathan. Uh, I'll leave, leave his link in the description. If no I remember. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. always say you this. You never remember, do you? Uh, oh, no. Yeah. Um, give us an up the Albion. Up the Same old story yet again. Stupid, stupid goal to concede. Stupid goal. Hopefully we can come back. Come on out. As I said at the start, Sheffield United fans, cracking support. Probably some of the best we've had at the ball for once this season, but it's frustrating. Everyone always beats us, but their support is top notch. So many managers, and they threw every single one of them under the bus. These players need to take a long, hard look in the mirror. They're an embarrassment. Embarrassing. And staring relegation right in the face. It's a joke. to get the clap done for Jamie. Like I said at the start of the video, um, condolences to him and his family. Uh, rest in peace, Jamie, mate. Shame about the results so far, but come on out. Thank you. 
Alright guys, half time. Sheffield United 2, West Brom 0. Same old. You can play our video from the last time I was at the Hawthorns. It was just embarrassing to be honest. You know, how many managers of these players threw under the bus? There's so many players in that team what need clearing out. I'm not going to mention names, I think we all know who they are, but it's just embarrassing performance yet again. Liam, what's made of that? <laughs> I knew it was coming. I said before the game, I said, I, I said draw, but I said these players are just not interested. The only ones that's trying today is Dean Garner, fair play to be putting the shift in. And, and probably Jed Wallace yeah, running, Jed that's Wallace, it. Yeah. It's, it's, um, but it's alright because Paul Brand will be seeing who is reliable and who isn't. And so far he can pick two men. But to be honest, we are, I'm not expecting miracles from Paul Brand. I'm not expecting him to get us promoted because this team just isn't not good enough. I want him to keep us in the league because let's be honest, we're not a contender to go up. We are a relegation fighting team this season, it's as simple as that. Hopefully we can get a result second half, but I'm not confident. Come on out here. There we go, 3-0. Sheffield United, this club is becoming an absolute joke. You know, the players are really obviously. To think that these lot are paid thousands of pounds per week and they're putting a performance like that. I don't even know what else to say, but don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Safe journey to all the uh, Sheffield United fans. You know, you played your part. You can hear them now. The fans have been brilliant, but we've been awful. See you in the next video, guys.